Hey, well, hello, and welcome to this episode of Learn Everyday English, where we use words, phrases, and hey, real life situations to help you learn and improve your English. Well, we're not in the studio today, as you can see, we're outside, and I need to do uh, some work around the house. And actually, what I'm going to do today, I need to blow off some uh, material that's on the roof of my house kind of do some fall cleaning. So I'm going to sh show you what uh, this is all about. So if you like this channel, one, hit the like button, two, subscribe, three, hit the bell for notifications, four, tell your friends about it so that they can benefit uh, from these videos as well. So without further ado, let's get going. What I'm going to do today, I need to go into the uh, storage shed and get the uh, blower, the gas blower we call it. And I'm going to blow off material that is on the roof. And what I'm going to be blowing off are pine needles and pine cones and any other type of debris that's on the roof. So, but first what I need to do, I need to uh, change shoes because right now I don't have the proper uh, type of shoes or we can say safety equipment that I need to uh, do this job. So I'll show you what I'm wearing right now. So as you can see right now, I really don't have on the proper type of work shoes. I'm wearing uh, sandals. So what I'm going to do, I have some uh, work shoes, or we call these, uh, actually, I have some work boots right here that I'm going to uh, put on my feet. So I'll help protect my feet and my toes in case I uh, drop anything on them. So let me put these on and uh, we'll continue what we have to do. Well, okay, now you can see that uh, I've taken off my sandals and I have on my work boots. So I think uh, we're ready to go. So what I need to do now, uh, this is a building that's uh, outside the house. We call this a storage shed. And here on the storage shed, we have a lock, but it's specifically called a padlock. Take that off. And these are some sliding doors. I'm going to slide open. And what I need to do in the back of the shed, there is a specific type of ladder. I'm going to try to turn the light on to see. Uh, that's better. I got a lot of stuff in here, but in the back, there is a green ladder. So what I'm going to do is uh, take that ladder out because I'm going to need to use that ladder to climb up on top of the roof. Okay, I got the ladder out. And this ladder, let me lean it up against the door. This ladder is called, has a specific name to it. It's called a step ladder because these uh, parts of the ladder right here where I put my feet on, which means I can step onto the ladder, these are called rungs. So these are called rungs of the ladder. Let's walk to the front of the house and I'll show you uh, exactly what I need to do and what is on top of the roof. So here we're walking in the uh, front of the house. So if you look up onto the roof, you can see that. There's a lot of material, a lot of debris that's on top of the roof and most, most of that that's on the roof are pine needles and pine cones. So I'm going to use my uh, gas blower to blow the, that material off. I used to, in the past, I used to use a, uh, a push broom, but that took a long time. It took like an hour at least. So we need to uh, be able to work smart. So what I'm gonna do is get my uh, blower, which is right here. This is my uh, gas blower. So here is the uh, gas blower. Its uh, brand is called an Echo. 
and it uses a, a specific special type of fuel or gasoline and it's a mixture of gas and oil so it's gasoline and oil mixed together let me go back in the shed so here is a special can of fuel that I use to put in the blower it's called true fuel and it's a 50 to 1 mixture ratio so 50 to 1 mix engineered fuel plus oil ready to use so on the side of the blower here is the uh, cap I can take the cap off and this is where I add the fuel into the uh, I guess the reservoir or the, the small fuel tank here so I just need to take the top off so I'm going to pour some of this into the uh, tank here I don't want to run out while I'm on top of the roof that wouldn't be good screw the cap back on okay now I've got the ladder, ladder set up I'm going to climb up on the ladder and show you uh, a few more things so right here you see I got the ladder actually I don't need to uh, fold it out because I'm just going to set it up like that let me walk up here on top of the retaining wall and I want to show you so this piece of metal right here is called the gutter I'll give you a better look so as you can see this is the gutter and it's it's uh, has a lot of we call trash debris material on top of the gutter and what's usually here we'll find you know here are pieces of bark we say or the uh, skin of the tree that's come off and on top of the roof here we have what's called pine needles pine needles from pine trees and since we have a lot of pine trees here as you can see because we live kind of in the middle of a uh, forested or heavily wooded area also what we uh, you'll find here a lot of leaves like this come from the trees and also these things these are called pine cones pine cones so uh, what I need to try to do is uh, as you can see on top of the roof there's a lot of pine needles and leaves and some pine cones I'm gonna blow all that stuff off the roof and also I'm going, going to uh, blow all the pine needles and debris here that's collected on top of the called this gutter screen so to keep this material from collecting or going inside the gutter what I did I bought this uh, called gutter screen it's aluminum it has small holes in it that allows the water to go through but it catches or it traps all this material and prevents it from falling inside the gutter which is here and clogging it up so uh, so there's always some routine maintenance that uh, needs to be done uh, when you have a house and especially when you have gutters so I hope you uh, learn something new so instead of having to just take all this material off by hand I'm going to blow it off so now what I'm going to do since I need to use both of my hands to operate the blower and I'm going to be in the roof I don't want to be holding this uh, GoPro and walking around with the blower at the same time that's too dangerous certainly don't want to fall off the roof so I'm going to put the GoPro on a uh, on a, a helmet, I mean a head, uh, I'm going to put the GoPro on this uh, kind of head harness or head device. I'll attach the GoPro here and I can walk around with the GoPro on my head and then you can see, uh, see what I'm going to be doing. 
Then I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna start the uh, blower up. blowing off the uh, debris on the roof there's some um, yard workers or yard men working across the street that's the noise you hear they're using their gas blower as well to blow off grass uh, on the street but I'll show you here this uh, blower made quick work of blowing the uh, stuff off the roof said what used to take me an hour using a push broom takes about no more than maybe 10 minutes now but it does create a little mess because all the stuff blows off the roof onto the ground and then I have to either uh, sweep that up or rake it up with a rake so uh, I'm gonna walk back down get off off of the roof kind of get off the roof here uh, where the ladder is if you can see and I'll uh, show you some more well now I'm gonna walk in the uh, around the back I know I probably look silly with this thing on my head but I don't want to take it off my hair will really be sticking up all over the place but uh, I'm gonna walk in the backyard show you uh, You can see once I blew the stuff off the roof, it all landed here. So I'm going to now have to uh, sweep all this up. You can see that. So it's, uh, it was a lot of material that was on the roof. So I said we don't want that uh, clogging up the gutters because here I. Too, I have gutters that run all along the back of the house we say gutters that run all along the back of the house and takes the water away from the house so here's all the material I have to sweep up and the gutter runs all the way to this corner of the house it goes down this other what we call remember this is a downspout it goes out this black tube or this black pipe into uh, this drainage ditch which then goes out to the street so here we have two types of brooms the one on the right is just a regular type of broom where you use to sweep with but you see it's it's small but uh, what I'm going to use to sweep up the debris with this is called a push broom so it's much wider so that's what I'm going to use here is the push broom and I can sweep the material into a nice neat pile and it's much more efficient than using that other small broom so it shouldn't take me very long to do that let's walk in the front of the house there's also debris that I blew off from the roof on the front of the house and you can see that material here that fell on the ground that I blew off from the roof so I need to uh, use a rake here's a we say a big pile of material that came from the roof so I need to clean this up as well so in order to in the back I'm going to use the broom like I showed you but uh, in the front it'll be easier to use a rake so I'll show you what uh, a rake looks like so this is uh, what we call a rake it has these uh, 
things on the end here where it'll grab the material. Be getting the sun so you can see that. But uh, this works better where I can just rake the material into a pile. I said I rake the material into a pile and then I can pick it up. Okay, well that's it for today. Uh, you know what we did? We went off the, on top of the roof, did some work around the house. You can say housework, yard work. Blew off the, uh, remember the pine needles, the pine cones off the roof and some leaves so that they don't clog the gutters and stop up the gutters so that the rain and the rainwater can flow nice and smoothly down the roof into the gutters, out the downspout, and away from the house. So if you like this video, hey, hit the like button and please subscribe and tell your friends. And one other thing, I started a podcast called Learn Everyday English. And you can find uh, those podcasts, I only have one episode right now, on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and some others. So I'll put links uh, to that in the description below. So I hope you uh, found this video interesting and learned something new. And uh, keep watching. And until next time, we'll see you later on Learn Everyday English. Goodbye.